In the first of this video series on central banking, we will learn What are central banks? What is the meaning of currency? When were central banks created? Let us now start with the first topic. What are central banks? A central bank can be generally defined as an institution whose main objectives lie in managing a state's currency, money supply, and interest rates. Central banks are also known as reserve banks, monetary authorities, or in the case of the US, the Federal Reserve, also known as the Fed. As we said, the central bank is usually controlling the national currency. Which brings us to the next topic. What is a national currency? A national currency is the official means of transactions in a specific country. Until the early 20th century, national currency could be exchanged for precious metals in some fixed amount. This was known as the gold standard. More details on the gold standard in the videos to come. Nowadays, most currencies are fiat money meaning that the promise to pay consists of the promise to accept that currency for the payment of taxes in that country. In the broader sense, the central bank enforces the use of that specific currency bank enforces the making sure that all commercial banks accept the currency when the public presents them with it. For example, commercial banks in the euro area should accept any euros brought to them by any of their customers, provided of course that they meet some criteria, such as not being counterfeit or stolen. This also indirectly ensures that all citizens within that state would be happy to receive the specific currency for the work and services they provide. This was not always the case. When were central banks created? The first central bank to be established with ongoing operations was the Swedish Riksbank, which was set up in 1668. However, the bank did not have a monopoly over the issuance of banknotes until the early 20th century. The Bank of England, established in 1694, defined the model on which most modern central banks have been based. To illustrate how important the inception of a central bank and the control of national currency is considered to be, Isaac Newton, famous for developing, among other things, the theory of gravity and differential calculus, spent 30 years in charge of the printing presses in the UK, reforming the currency and successfully prosecuting 28 counterfeiters. That was it for now. Join us soon for part two of our series explaining why central banks are needed.